want to go in blind and then try to push the yeah, no guy one way and have a shooter in the back too and do it that way. Whatever you think. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll work. That's a plan. So I'm ready. You I'm guys ready. just go. Well, let's get us some. You guys go kill one. <laughs> get you some. Right in there. Come along with us and enjoy the great outdoors in the state of Texas. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. Brought to you by Point Blank Sporting Goods, Danny's Pawn Shop, Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center, Mayak Boats, Jim's Pier, Friends of the RGB League, Enbridge, Life Takes Energy, Social Life, the magazine of the Real Grande Valley, Atlas Electrical, Air Conditioning, Refrigeration and Plumbing, The Glam Room, South Texas Elite Outfitters, Pro Valley Foods, and select properties. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. It's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Here comes Killer. Miss America. What are you doing? Why are you filming? I thought you would have already been set up. Shut up. <laughs> Boom. It's 2023. And we're back at the Tejerina Ranch. And um, been waiting a long time for this Nell guy. I've been, sh been trying to, trying to uh, find one at another ranch. They're super elusive. Especially for a little amateur like me. So, we're back. Wish us luck. I hope you enjoy all of the, what is it, the 2018 footage when we were here last time trying to shoot one. So, let's take a look at that and don't go away. Hi, everybody. Well, we're here with Judge Beherina at his wonderful ranch, and we are hunting milk guy today, and um, maybe some hogs. So, Judge, why don't you tell us a little bit about your ranch? Well, you're here on the uh, Catamacaro Ranch here yes. in Kennedy County, uh, Texas, a ranch that has uh, come to me through my family, uh, a ranch that uh, has been in the family about 150 years, and of course it's named Catamacaro after my mother's uh, first Oh, that's, that's how it I got was. the name. Yes. Uh, but we're here on about 1,800 acres, and uh, we've got turkey, uh, white-tailed deer, a lot of nail guy, uh, some quail, and all other kinds of wildlife. And I'm just glad to have y'all here yes. uh, enjoying the day. Well, we're very, 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 very happy to be here. We've seen a lot of animals this morning, and Marky, you're going to be the first shooter. Yes. So <laughs> we have Marky with Aguilas, and Marky, why don't you tell us a little bit about your store? Uh, so uh, my father's uh, store and my uh, my family store is Aguilas Meat Market. It's been in our family for the past 35 years. Uh, my grandpa opened it in 1984, and uh, it's just a locally owned meat market. We have four locations now: uh, two in Edinburgh, one in uh, San Juan, and one in Mission. Wow! Well, and and I think the meat came from Aguilas through Pro Valley. Pro so Valley. Pro Valley, he, he he we were out hunting, and he made our delicious lunch. So we're very excited to team up with all these wonderful people, and we'll be right back with hopefully a few nail guys. <laughs> Get you some! There we go. So how many do you think you have on this ranch? I'll give you an example. They, um, they trapped some at my uncle's ranch. And he's, it's his ranch is a little bit bigger. It's about 3,300 acres. And one day, uh, they trapped over 40 nail guy. Wow. And they didn't get them all. Uh -huh. um, when I came out here on Friday with my wife, we came out here at one o'clock, worked at the house, did a vuelta, and we saw at least five or six, uh, just with one little uh, rotation. And I have seen in one group, 15 maybe in a group with bulls, females, babies. So they, they are all over. We're here at the 
Mercado, Mercado Ranch. We're here with Marky with Aguilas Meat Markets. Marky, would you tell us a little bit about your meat market while we're waiting <laughs> for the Nell guy to come out? Uh, so uh, my family owns Aguilas Meat Market. Uh, it's a family-owned business. Uh, we've been in business since 1984. Uh, we have four locations. We have uh, two in Edinburgh, one in San Juan, and one in Mission. Uh, we specialize mostly in um, fresh uh, beef, uh, chicken, pork, uh, your barbecue items, but at the same time your everyday uh, cuts like pork chops, uh, stew meat, and hamburger meat. Uh, we do a little bit of catering uh, with briskets, and then uh, on the weekends we have uh, fresh barroco and uh, menudo cooked uh, for you guys on the, on the mornings also for breakfast. Wow, it's delicious. I've had it. <laughs> I have to go there every Sunday morning. <laughs> or every Saturday morning too. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday mornings. <laughs> well, we have to be very quiet because Nell guy have very good ears, very good eyes, and a very good smell. So we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Vicki Chrysler Inahosa with Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, and I want to tell you a little bit about Danny's Pawn Shop and Sporting Goods. Did you know that you could pawn, sell, or even upgrade your guns here? They even have reloading supplies. This isn't your grandpa's pawn shop. They have high-end jewelry, awesome Rolexes that I've bought. They even have a diamond grader on staff. Not only can you find your guns, scopes, accessories, but the staff is very helpful and patient. So come on down to Danny's Pawn Shop, downtown McAllen, and be sure to tell Danny that I said to get you some. Boats, the luxury boat on the water. Do you right? Is that something? What's up? No. It's a post. Post. We have one of the largest population of turkeys, which I'm surprised we haven't seen any turkeys yet. And uh, quail, javelina, um, hogs, bobcats, and uh, across the street, uh, they've been known to see, to see ocelots. And so I'm guessing we have some we have some stuff up on the north side that we'll see a little later. Very thick habitat that's uh, also conducive to ocelots. Uh, really thick. So we, we might see those. I've actually had an argument with my wife about whether I saw a badger or not, but I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm fairly certain I saw the badger. And she says no. No, it was all muddy. <laughs> Uh, but I'm, I'm sure it was because I, I had never seen anything like it. It was low to the ground and it was long. The white stripe down the back. Well, it was all muddy. Yeah, but that yeah, was all muddy. Yeah. But I'm sure it was a badger. And I know they're here. I mean, they, uh, Don or uh, Bill Burns took a picture of one out on his ranch. So, and uh, you know everything else in between. All kinds of birds. He's probably seen green jays and I. We have, uh, we saw a painted bunting uh, out here uh, this year and the vermilion flycatchers, I mean just an abundance of, of birds. My sister used to bring people out here because it was one of the few places in the valley that had pygmy owls. And that's uh, apparently a very rare bird for this area and birders from all over came to see it. And we had a guy uh, reach out to me uh, a couple of months ago asked if he could come out to the ranch and look for the pygmy owls and he came out with a he's got a call and he said he found three pairs out here on the ranch wow. 
No, nope, they're quail. Yeah, they're quail. Anyone bring their shotgun? <laughs> I didn't bring it. We got shotguns here. Yeah. You're welcome to do that if you want. If you want to get some. Y'all want to get some uh, quail, Mark? You guys want to shoot some quail? And you got the shotgun? Yeah. They're right yeah. there. They're right there in front of us. Yeah. Okay, so they won't go far. Who does a turkey hunt, a nail guy hunt? <laughs> quail. And a quail hunt, <laughs> only one day. Yep. The Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, that's who does it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a fun day with Marky and the gang. We weren't lucky today, but let's see what happens tomorrow. So do not change that diet. Well, this is day two the nail guy hunt and some of our some of our hunters had to leave today so I brought one of my BFS <laughs> something BFS um, they got her set up I'm set up so I have to be very quiet because we're waiting for the nail guy to come out uh, let's see what happens on day two in the Texas Outdoor Lockdown my skin so healthy well let me show you my secret the glam room is my choice with their exceptional customer service professional hair and makeup I love lots of volume on my eyelash extensions and the permanent makeup is a must the glam room offers educational classes so book today and get your certification Foods has some of the highest quality meats in the world. Ask your meat market if they buy from Pro Valley Foods. Pro Valley Foods. Boats and RVs, boats and RVs. We sell everything, boats and RVs. Come to Rod Hoover RV and Marine, where we have the best team and everything that you need. If you're looking for a job that no one else can beat, Rod Hoover is the place where no one else can beat.
the nail guy. Maybe not. Maybe it's a deer. It's a baby. Yeah. It's a baby. Where's daddy? Yeah. Baby Nell guy. What did you think about that hunt last night? We had 30 hogs around us at one point. They were everywhere, as close as 22 yards. It was pretty cool. We're set up in a different spot this morning. We're gonna sit here for three or four hours, see if something doesn't come out. Pretty excited about the opportunity. Boom. Boom. Ricky Lynn. It's all right. It's all right. Stop. Just stop. Stop. He ain't going nowhere. Yes, he is. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think you have any more. He's going down. He's going down. He's going down. <laughs> Teddy enough. Oh my goodness. And Diane, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I got me a nail guy. I got me a, a Tejerina nail guy. A Tejerina nail guy. I guess we have to name him Big Cajona Tejerina. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. Everything I practiced was like out of the out of the norm because I was practicing on him sideways and I knew he saw us. He wasn't gonna come out and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to get him straight on. Thank you, Ruben, for directing me. Eight inches under the white. <laughs> oh my god. The, that's awesome. And I knew that if you hit him, I knew if you hit him, he was gonna drop. And he did. I mean he didn't go five that, yards. That was about 115 yards. Yeah, but he didn't go five yards, ten no. yards. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna let, let him, him let, let him, him let him lay a little bit and um, oh my god, he's still kicking, he's still kicking. Hey, Sarah with Atlas Electrical Air Conditioning, Refrigeration and Plumbing Services 24-7. Keeping it interesting today, we give you tips, we tell you about your AC system, give you little things that you can do for yourself at home as the homeowner. And today I have with me the lovely Yvette Hinojosa, Miss Continental 2020. And here at Atlas, we like to give all of our customers the royal treatment. We like to make sure to keep you divine. So please give us a call, we'll take care of you, follow our tips, Take care of your system 24-7 together. Point Blank Sporting Goods. They're the experts you got to talk to before your next big hunt. The largest selection of hunting bows in the valley, outdoor accessories, plus hunting and self-defense weapons. Not to mention a huge gun range and archery range. Come on into Point Blank Sporting Goods and be sure to tell them that I said to get you some! Closed captioning provided by High Heat Outdoors. Puddle Mosquito. Look at that pig, Vicky Lynn. Look at that animal. Oh my God. Look at that stud. What, he didn't go like five feet? <laughs> I didn't want to take that shot like that, but hey. He wasn't going to come out. I know, he wasn't going to come out and I've been working hard for him. Awesome, Vicky Lynn. Yes. Okay. Awesome animal. Okay, so I don't need this gun anymore. Now, Robert, I think I'm gonna have to owe you a, a case of shells. <laughs> a bullets, not shells, bullets. <sighs> Robert lent me his, his 300. 300 Win Mag. And um, he had some bullets in there already for me. That's and and I use them all. <laughs> Everybody yeah. says, first shot, you know, load it up again and shoot him again and shoot him again. So that was in my head. She shot. Sorry, till Robert. She didn't... Even though I didn't need to shoot him again, but hey. She shot till she didn't have any more. Yeah. She was flinging lead at him. <laughs> and she would have shot another one if there was four or five. <laughs> I thought I had the AR. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, okay, let's get some photos! Thank you, Judge Tijerina. What a stud. Jet black. Hey guys, the fun stops once you kill one. I hadn't good at a nail guy probably in 30, 35 years maybe. Ballpark numbers, 35-ish. Uh, Vicky and I got it done. Used this, this hoist that we got built. And she and I have gotten this big bull up here by ourselves. Yeah! This is the last part, there's only two of us. So we couldn't film this event. 
but uh, just know that we got it up here, Vicky and I, by, my, by ourselves. <laughs> Get your soul. Let us know if you guys want to buy one of these. We can put you in touch with the guy that makes them. Yeah, you need one of these, guys. Okay, guys. Well, what do y'all think about that? Oh, my gosh. We've got our pictures done. We called Judge Tahirina. We told him we got a nail guy down, and um, we just tried to call him and put him on FaceTime for you because he's not here. They are back in town, and of course, it took me since I think a um, couple of years <laughs> to get this bad boy, but it, 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 it didn't take but what, maybe two, two day hunt, right? right. Two, a two day hunt here. And um, we tried the first year. We didn't get one. Of course, Marky tried to, to get one during that time, and y'all already saw all of that footage, and that was pretty fun. And then uh, Marky couldn't make it the second time, so so I, I tried to get one, and one didn't want to come out for me. And I believe that was in like 2019, but today, this weekend, we got it done. We started hunting Friday, and uh, we saw a lot of nail guy here, um, but didn't get didn't get that, that that shot opportunity until today. So I'm super excited. I worked super hard for this for this bad boy, and. Um, I hope you enjoy the episode. Thank you, Judge Tahirina. And um, actually, this was a hunt um, that we uh, bid it on for um, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So Cynthia Zakalinski, um, she runs a she runs a good shop over there, and uh, we finally got it done, Cynthia. So thank you, Judge Tahirina. Thank you, thank you, Diane. And um, hopefully, we'll get to get to do another. Oh. I know what we need to do. We need to do a hog hunt. Did y'all see all those hogs here? There's like 300 pounders. So let's work on that episode, Judge, okay? Okay, guys, so until next time, get you some.